Yo, wagwan, 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 my people. <laughs> Welcome to Zion Guitar one more time. Yeah, man. And this is um, a continuation of a previous video that I did called, um, that was How to Get a Sweet Reggaeton. Right? But before that, I want to say thanks to all the people that has, um, that subscribed, all the people that have been watching the videos from the start to the finish. You have been doing a great job. Um, thanks to all the people that have been hitting the thumbs up, all those who have been with the channel from the jump, and all the new subscribers. You know, I'm indebted to you folks. So um, just keep doing what you're doing, and I will keep doing what I do. All right? Yeah. So, so this video, I really want to talk about the wah pedal the war pedal right but before I get into that I just want to take like probably a minute or just over a minute just to um touch on something that I did not touch on in the previous video all right I will leave a link to the previous video in the description and also you probably will find it in the cards right because I want you folks to go back and watch that and come back here also right now in the previous video I did say I do not I didn't I am I do not use an amp I which I really don't use an amp like an actual amp in front of me. But I do use a, an amp simulator. Right? Thanks to that one um subscriber that pointed it out. You know, so I really think that, you know, thought that, you know, I should have, you know, let me let me just do this. Right? So I do use an amp simulator and I do use a cap. Right, so um, so let's get down in this real quick, cause I don't want I don't want to make this too long, right? Cause I want to get to what we really, you know, get into. All right, so so everything remains the same as the previous video, um, and here is the amp that I use. The amp that I use is the Jazz Rivet 120. Right, and as you can see, the drive is at 5.4, the bass is at 4.7, mid 3.6, treble 5.3, presence is 2.3. And I love my authentic sound. I never overdo anything when it comes to reggae. Please don't. Alright? So, that's my amp. The cab is 2x12 Jazz Rivet. Right, and the mic that I use is the 421 Dynamic. Distance 4.0, low cut is 100 HZ, the high cut is at 15.7 KHZ, right? So that is basically what I use, you know, for sound. I run everything is to the QSC, straight to the QSC, right? And that's how I get this beautiful sound, you know? Right? So, again, go back and watch the previous video, my people right i'm i'm bringing you folks in on everything that i do now so so let's like i said everything else remains the same and do remember my people put your wah and your volume pedal to the front of the chain all right because where you add your your effects and your your i can't remember the name <laughs> i keep messing up with when it comes to name right as you can see it all depends right it can make it, make it sound good it can make it sound bad all right so be mindful of where you place these stuff all right so um speaking of that the wah pedal right the wah pedal that i use in this line six pod go is the colorful one right and as you can see the position is a hundred percent the FC low is 360HZ. FC high is at 1.7KHZ. I'm going to go to the level. The level, it's the basically the volume. All right, so be mindful of that. Right, you can give it a certain sound. And, you know, it can make it sound good, can make it sound bad. Be mindful. Remember, my people, it all comes down to the ears because different gears different players different everything different um feel you know what i mean so be mindful of that also so i save the mix for last because the sound of your wah pedal in your chain it all depends on the mix 
mainly right so with the mix at a hundred percent this is what it would sound like and this is what i do not like much i mean i'm not knocking it too hard because when it comes to um what for me lying i do not like hearing it thin because it kind of knocks the ears it annoys my ear and but in the recording it can have a you know it can all oh, you can get past in the recording because then they can mix it and sync it in the background or whatever all right so it will sound like this you know while some people will be would, would be um, okay with this I'm not because it has this thin sound and I like when my guitar my sound is a bit chunky right and it's more commanding right so if you can hear it has this radio sound so do remember some people really like that some people really like it I'm just talking about preference here right so with my mix i never put my mix at even 50 percent it's always below 50 percent so let's put it at 4.1 right 4.1 so now it will sound like this so can hear I mean it's much warmer to me to me again to me right but if you do if you folks do like it when it sounds thinner I mean you can always it doesn't even have to be a hundred percent let's say you put it at 60 percent you know it doesn't it really does not sound bad at 60 right so be mindful of your mix right again different players different feel of music different gears you know it all depends always remember to use the ears it all comes down to the ears so i will always i will just leave mine at 4.1 right because that's how i prefer it sounding you know i mean so let's get this but it sounds up with the track. And if you're wondering what cards I'm using, I'm using F sharp minor, B minor. To a C minor, right? for my even for what I use well it's you know um you know even with the single notes it does not sound too bad it really sounds like the guitar is still there and you don't have to do much just start using that you know and um so even even for my what i use to shred right even what i use to shred i always keep a little bit of wah there 
you know, I keep the wah there because I like the way it sounds. All right, so. <laughs> Whenever it's time to solo, you can it can sound. No, when it gets to that, you don't want it to sound too thin with your with, with, with your um distortion. You know, it sounds much better because the um the when it's time to solo, you want it to be thick, chunky, and stand out. You want it to be commanding. You know what I mean? So yeah, so even for that, I use it there. So that's it for the wall pedal. So again. My preference, thicker sounding. Yours could be a thinner one. But whatever you do, just make it sound good. Whatever you do, enjoy. Keep practicing. Alright? Never stop. Never give up. Remember, when you're practicing something, go slow. Slower, the better. Right? More effective. My name is Zion. Blessed love. Peace out. Stay strong.